3. From Boris. During your radio tour, you mentioned you can't believe how guys send text messages in between sets at the gym when they're working out. Why is that? Silence. The gym is a sacred place for warrior. It's about engaging the mind and body entirely without distraction whatsoever. The mistake warrior made was in not directly calling the males in the gym sending text messages. The mistake he made was calling them guys to begin with. He should have just used pussies. If you ever find yourself in a gym with warrior and you hear yelled very loud the word pussy, chances are warrior is in the gym and he has seen some male sending text messages back and forth while he's working out. Warrior is tired of the mischaracterization that goes along with people who do have success in the gym that somehow or another is all attributable to performance enhancement, illegal performance enhancement and not hard work, sacrifice and self-discipline first. The gym is no place for a cell phone, for text messaging, for voicemails for any interruptions whatsoever. The gym is a place where there should not even be any talking allowed. Warrior would like to find a gym like that. People who send text messages in the gym, people who do voicemail in the gym, people who talk in the gym, people who don't grunt when they work out, people who don't work out to failure, people who don't sweat, people who rest longer than 30 seconds between sets, they are all pussies, male or female. Question number four. When are you going to write your book? Silence. Speak to me, warrior. I hear the whispering. Silent. Warrior says he's been working on his book for a long time. He has dozens if not hundreds of notebooks with writings of the stories of his life before sports entertainment his life in sports entertainment all the experiences he had there the unique one of a kind experiences that no wrestling book has ever explored or gotten into or told the truth about Notebooks filled with writings about his litigation process with the McMahons. He has all the discovery documents to tell the true story 
what happened between him and the McMahons, and the fallouts that they had, and how the truth is much, much different than what has been put forward on the self-destruction of Ultimate Warrior DVD. It made notebooks filled with his writings about his self-learning journey, the great books of the Western world, the great conversation therein. Many notebooks filled with writings about discovering, coming to have a love for American history, the founding times, and that the founding fathers had really big balls. Has notebooks filled with writings on his ideas of classic heroism. Warrior's been writing his book for a long time. He's also on the record, he tells me, saying that he does not believe in coincidence. That there's a purpose behind the timing of things. And that his story, the book, has not been published yet. Because his story is still playing out. Even right now in the defamation litigation against Titan, the McMahons. Ten years, twelve years after working for them, the story is still being played out. All that said, he's telling me stay where you are. All that said, he has here a contract with a literary agent at a California entertainment firm called The Firm. Once he signs it, his book is going to get shopped to publishers probably within nine months to a year. Warrior story will be told.